Sarah and I are heading out into the unknown today. This has been already, within the first couple miles, a ridiculously beautiful backcountry adventure. And we're only on the dirt road. We're in the La Sierra. We're gonna do Jameson Creek. And this ride is only about 12 minutes from Everstoke. Crazy. Wow, this is the kind of road you buy a four by four vehicle for. I think the van could probably make it up this too, but there are so many roads like this in California. They're just amazing backcountry adventures. And I think it goes to somewhere. <laughs> People are going somewhere. We got passed by a couple cars. This has also been a super reasonable climb on the bike. We haven't even been in our easiest gear the whole time. Super grade, easy ride. This is just gonna be so simple. I actually don't know much about this ride just from what I've seen on trail forks and what people have told me, but I've heard about it for a long time. We like to call this area the Lost Sierra, but it's more formally known as the Lakes Basin. And there's just tons of trails up here. If you're familiar with Downeyville, it's on the other side of Downeyville, basically. You know the best thing about you and the worst thing about you? What? That you mountain bike. Because <laughs> I can't shuttle you? Yes, I had all these dreams of having a wife that could shuttle me. Look at this perfectly good road. You could just drive your car up, drop me off. I'll meet you at the bottom. Instead, uh, we're stuck climbing this uh -huh. thing, sweating. I'm your living nightmare. <laughs> the ball and chain. <laughs> If you're having fun, then I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is very e-bikeable terrain. I believe all the Lakes Basin is open to e-bikes, so that would be the grand compromise. It's just uh, a little expensive to get two more e-bikes, so. Yeah. Once Ibis has their e-bike, <laughs> someday. Then we gotta get the van twice as big so we can fit the analog bikes, the e-bikes, yeah. the paddle boards. <laughs> The cooler. We're running out of space. <laughs> Get a couple dogs in there. Uh huh. Our shuttle driver <laughs> that we're gonna hire has to fit in there. <laughs> we just need a tour bus at this point. Yeah. There's something to be said for pedaling up. It definitely promotes fitness. Uh -huh. It's always good. Yeah. It was such a cool feeling yesterday to look on Strava at how much we climbed. Yeah. And just be like, wow, we did that with our two legs. Yeah, Mr. Toad's wild ride. We climbed up it, and that was awesome. That was the last video. If you missed it, you missed a lot. It was wild indeed. Yeah. I think today's gonna be even more wild though. Oh yeah? Yeah. I still have bruises from yesterday's rock gardens. Uh, they might be walk gardens today. <laughs> W-A-L-K. I, I hear ya. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yeah. I wonder if this is your trick to make me your shuttle driver by injuring me <laughs> through the rock gardens. Yeah, get you all. Oh no, she got hurt. <laughs> now she has to shuttle me. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa. That's something. Ah, it's ridiculous. Man, can't believe we're this high up. Oh, there's some snow. Yeah. Well, this road ain't gonna climb itself. <laughs> I'll see you at the top. See you on the trail. Wow, that just opened up Dang. like nothing before. I truly hope I have a full life of summertime snowball fights ahead of me, but to do that, I've got to stay healthy. And my favorite way to keep my body performing is today's sponsor, 
AG1 by Athletic Greens. I started drinking AG1 a few months ago and now it is firmly part of my morning routine. It's the first thing I do every morning after I play Wordle. It's just one scoop mixed in with cold water that gives you fantastic foundational health with vitamins, minerals, probiotics, adaptogens, antioxidants, and more. I really feel the difference in my digestion. I had always heard people use the term regular, but until I actually found probiotics, I didn't know what that meant. I just went here, there, and everywhere. I also recently realized that since I started drinking AG1, I haven't had that mid-afternoon sluggishness where you just start falling asleep at the keyboard. And I'm like so happy about that. It's so nice to have the energy to complete the day. I've done the pills, I've done the gummies. AG1 is so much better. It's one scoop once a day, every day. And for me, the colder it is, the better it tastes. So I make sure after I drink it in the morning, I wash out my bottle, I refill it with water, I put it back in the fridge so it's ready to grab for the next morning. I do my best to eat healthy, but I'm not perfect. I don't think anyone is, except for people on Instagram, apparently. So it's nice to know that AG1 has my back to fill those holes, the vitamins, the minerals, and everything else that I'm missing in my normal day-to-day. -day. Head on over to athleticgreens.com BKXC right now. Put an order in today, and you will get a free one-year supply of vitamin D along with five travel packs. You know I love the travel packs. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. And now we finally get where the cars can't go. Okay, we just climbed eight miles. Now we're gonna go four miles down. Oh. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> so loose! This is the single black diamond section. Oh gosh, whoa, whoa! I think this is gonna be over so fast, so steep. Oh my Whoa. God, what the heck? Took your eyes off the trail. Cause I you, saw an you, offshoot. You pedal struck this thing right here, which oh, is just man. terribly invisible. <laughs> that was me. You weren't the first person to do that. Okay, grief, it almost took my breath away. That was horrific. Felt like I skyrocketed. Yeah, like, it was bizarre. the eject button. The, the ting and yeah. then the over the top. Look at that! Yeah, whoa, the lake to Beautiful. the right. Yeah. Can't can't take our eyes off the yeah. trail. Period. There's not lessons. No more. Whew. Wow. Where have you been my whole life? This is so epic. I see somebody's tube. What? You see a yellow? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's their life raft to get across. <laughs> That's Maybe crazy. somebody's just out there. We just can't see them. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, got that backcountry heroin. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more. <laughs> It is just crazy to think this could be so remote and this trail be in such pristine condition. They'll hear us coming. The way the rocks are rumbling and everything's going. Oh. Thousand push ups a day.
perfect. Wow. Oh, yeah. You're killing it. You're killing it. Terrific. Yeah. Thanks. That, that whole key of like letting off the brakes Seriously. is very hard. Thank you. Perfect. See how the little lady, okay. Survived that first double black section. My brother and I came out here many years ago and rode in the Lakes Basin and we did a double black chunder trail and uh, that might have been it. I'm, <laughs> I'm really not sure. We just came at it from a totally different direction. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. There's the creek crossing. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi Almost. there. Thank you. You definitely would have made it if... Um, yeah, that dang tree. Yeah. Those hikers that we passed at the earlier spot yeah. were looking at us like we were crazy. And yeah. then I just walked that section and they were like, this is... This is crazy. How do you how do you do this or be careful or something like that? And they're like, it didn't look like he was being careful. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's just faster than me. <laughs> but I said, he'll wait for me at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, giant lake ahead. Oh yeah. Eyes on the trail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're trying to distract me so I can be a shuttle driver. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. Nicely done. I was about to say, if you fall, you need to fall to the right. Oh, man. Yes. Epic. Oh. Just two of us. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good one. I think I would say my lifetime of riding, it's a 50-50 between encountering a hiker that is miserable and a hiker <laughs> that is happy. Yeah, hi there. <laughs> this guy looks hey. happy. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, hikers would also say that half the mountain bikers they encounter are probably miserable. <laughs> when my brother and I first started mountain biking, we did not encounter any nice people on the trails when we would try to make conversation it would just all be just fitness freaks that had no time to <laughs> had no time for nothing it was just a bizarre way to get into mountain biking and not feel like there was any reason to make friends it's very very important for all of us mountain bikers to be nice and say hi and just always put the best foot forward because if the hikers and the equestrians had their way no mountain bikes would be allowed anywhere I sometimes think if they had their way, nothing would be allowed anywhere, <laughs> not even hiking. <laughs> Big clunk on that one. Nice! <laughs> she survived it. <laughs> Into the darkness. <laughs> oh, got some actual speed on that. That was cool. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we got a little more of this trail and we're gonna look for something to the left that isn't on the... <laughs> this is gonna be very interesting if I plan this correctly or not. Ga -ga 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 -ga. Da -da. Oh, yeah. Get your wheelies going. <laughs> <laughs> nice wheelie. Good job. Wow, this is so interesting because that was a dynamite ride, and I think we're done. I think we're actually going to make it out here. But I don't know if I, was, I would give it a good star rating. That top was one of the most dynamite down, uh -huh. backcountry downhill sections ever. Yeah. The, oh, it just felt so amazing. The crazy rocks were so good. The total package is fantastic, but 
it's something like, ooh, I'm not gonna recommend anybody, just anybody go do this mm -hmm. ride. But I'm leaving with quite a high, so. It just feels like we went on this crazy epic adventure, only a few minutes from Everstow. Yeah. I definitely wasn't expecting it, that alpine scenery yeah. that takes your breath away. The whole package. That was really great. It's always fun when you go in with little to no expectations and then it totally exceeds your expectations far beyond. So that was your, that's the good part of riding blind, as you would say. You know what? Comparison is the thief of joy. I like to make lists like the Trail 1 list to make sure that if you watch a bunch of my videos, you know what the best of the best riding is. If you're going to take a vacation day, if you're actually going to travel to go ride something, but in the end, a fun ride is a fun ride. It doesn't have to be ranked. It doesn't have to be five stars, four stars, 10 stars. You can just get out and enjoy it and have a great day with your friend, with your spouse, with your brother, with your uncle, whoever it is. And uh, on this ride, they better have steel ovaries if they're gonna take it on, because that is crazy. <laughs> I had steel ovaries. I got bounced out when I hit that rock. Can't wait to see what that looks like in the video. <laughs> still laughing about it. <laughs> We're back at Everstoke now. We don't need no fancy campground showers. This is gonna be perfect. I just gotta remember how this thing actually works. I took out my body wash because I was like, we can't take showers at Everstoke. And then of course, when we wanna take a shower, we have no body wash, but I do have a shaver. <laughs> I don't think I have soap either. Oh yeah, this is gonna work just fine. I use it for my bike, I use it for my body. Here we go. Okay. Oh yeah. And then. It's coming! Oh, it's so hot! Yeah. Hello. Nice. Squeaky clean. That was a very impressive and luxurious camp shower experience. The good news is the shower is fantastic. The bad news is our power situation is still completely screwed. As you may remember from the old videos of working out here at Everstoke, we had a Blue Eddy AC200P that was very, very fantastic until it wasn't. The winter got it, it killed the power. We were like flummoxed on how to fix it and then finally saw some YouTube videos. I opened the thing up, I attached a trickle charger and I was able to get it to actually turn on again for the first time in so long. Plugged it into the wall, boom, I got it back to 100%. So now I brought it up, I got it in the well shed, we had it here, we were so stoked. Plug the solar panels in, nothing. No voltage, no current coming from the solar panels. <sighs> brutal, brutal, brutal. It's possible there's just a loose connection and I'll fix it and everything will be good. So here's the deal. I, these little solar generators are perfect in between products for us here at Everstoke to run the well pump, to run power for little stuff here and there until I save up enough money and just go for it for a giant solar power system. I wanna do it right. I wanna have 240 volt split phase system. I want a bunch of panels. I wanna just be able to run anything, charge up Aaron's Tesla, any future electric vehicles. And that's all possible, it's just, <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars and uh and getting the shipping container actually insulated so it can be climate controlled so the batteries won't get messed up like that battery got messed up in the cold so i just need the little in-between thing to work for now while i can still save up some money now that we've had a few more people out here it's always mysterious whether or not anyone's in the grumper or not so we found this open close sign go for it okay privacy starts now <laughs> We finished up at Everstoke for the day, heading back home, paid $6.89 a gallon for gas, and now we're waiting for some bats to emerge from underneath the freeway. It's the perfect time right now, it's sunset, I think we're gonna see it. I think one might fly in the van if we're not careful. Well, that was pretty dang amazing. What would you say? At least a million bats? Oh my gosh, I've never been good at estimating those kinds of things. Five to six minutes straight of them coming out in droves. Non-stop. Yeah. Crazy. They didn't get these mosquitoes that bit us though. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of bats. What a great way to end the video. Thanks for watching, you guys.
I'll see you on the trail.